Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton, and this is our planet Earth. Can you actually tell what's wrong with this picture right here? Well, if you look closely, you'll realize that this Earth is spinning a little bit too fast for comfort. Today, we're going to discover how fast Earth would have to spin for all of us to start flying off its surface. Welcome to What the Math. <laughs> So obviously this is actually in, not in real time, it's ac accelerated time, but even at this point, Earth is actually spinning a little bit too fast. Now in this video, I wanted to actually do a little bit of math and calculate how fast Earth would have to actually spin for the centrifugal forces at the equator to be equivalent to uh, the gravitational forces, at which point you'll basically feel weightless. And also we're going to obviously discover how fast Earth would have to spin for people to start flying off the surface completely. So in other words, you know, is this fast enough for people to start uh, flying off? Well, let's do a little bit of mathematics here and discover um, how all of this is calculated. By the way, if, in one of the previous videos, I've already mentioned that uh, currently, uh, when if you look at the actual speed of rotation of Earth, which is would be basically this right here, so it's practically invisible. Um, at the equator, we're losing about half a percent or maybe 0.3% um, of gravitation due to the centrifugal forces. So as the speed of rotation increases, the centrifugal force increases as well, and thus the gravity at the equator goes down. So. We know that Earth rotates or spins um, once every 24 hours. That means that the angular velocity of Earth um, is 1 degree per 240 seconds. You can actually also write it like this, where omega, or this letter right here, represents the angular velocity and it can be defined as pi divided by 43,200. Now, this is not exactly what uh, we're looking for here. And what we're looking for here is the uh, omega value of weightlessness, which would actually be defined as a square root of gravity, which is 9.81 um, meters per second squared, divided by the radius. And this is the radius of our planet Earth. If you were to calculate this while using uh, 6,378,100 meters as the value for r, you would discover that this would equal to this long number right here. Now, this doesn't really mean anything to us just yet. It just tells us uh, basically this again. It tells us degrees per second. Now, if you were to consider that one day has 24 hours and 3,600 uh, seconds per hour, you basically would then take this number and divide it by this number to get 5068.9 seconds or approximately 1.4 hours. So this is how fast Earth would have to spin uh, for us to actually feel um, weightlessness. In other words, if I were to go into motion here and change the rotation of Earth from 24 hours to basically 1.4 hours, this right here would make it so that right at the equator, we're moving so fast that, uh, and actually this is not real time again, let's make this real time. Uh, we're moving so fast that you would feel weightlessness. You could basically jump and kind of jump really high and possibly even fly into the outer space if there is no interaction with the air. Uh, and obviously everything else like air particles and even um, the actual ground itself will start feeling weightlessness, which means that the planet will probably fall apart, which also means that physically that would kind of be impossible. Now, uh, there's actually a much easier way of calculating this and maybe a slightly easier to understand way, and I'm going to show it to you right now as well. And this is using the actual velocity. So. Uh, normally, when Earth spins, when it takes 24 hours to spin, um, its actual velocity um, right here on the surface at the equator equals to about 465.1 meters per second. And this is using the diameter of Earth divided once again by the total seconds. Um, and 
interestingly, this is actually even faster than the speed of sound. So at the equator, if you look at the equator, uh, which would be somewhere right here, the actual Earth rotates faster than the speed of sound, which is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. Now anyway, so the current centrifugal forces, basically the forces opposing gravity, can be calculated using this very simple formula of V squared over R, where we take this V that we have, divided by the total radius that we had from before, and we'll get something like 0 0.03 meters per second square. Now this, compared to the actual gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second square, is pretty small. Uh, so in fact, it's about 0.3%, uh, just over 0.3%. Now, how fast uh, do we actually have to ha move? So how big should V be for this to be equal to gravity once again? Uh, or let's just say actually slightly higher than the gravity so that we, we can actually be flung out of the surface, basically something that will make us fly away from the surface. And here, this would be 10 meters per second square. So we're going to work backwards, making this 10, and we're going to look for V and so basically we're trying to solve this relatively simple equation x squared divided by 6.3 million and should equal to 10. And once we basically plug in all those numbers and calculate all of this, you'll get this value right here, which is close to about uh, 8 kilometers per second. This is in meters per second. So the answer to how fast this should be rotating is actually was always here. If you were close enough, you might have seen this before. It's about 7.94 kilometers per second. And this is the speed at the equator right now. This is how fast uh, Earth has to be move, moving to basically create a weightlessness condition. And at eight kilometers per second, we all kind of start flying away and Earth sort of falls apart. So here you don't really see it because the game doesn't have these effects. But in reality, the Earth would actually get flattened and then eventually completely and entirely fall apart and so this kind of hopefully answers the question of how fast earth has to be spinning for it to be completely torn apart and for essentially all of us to be flung for, from the surface of the earth and so just to summarize the answer it has to rotate approximately 1.4 hours uh per day and in other, in other words it has to rotate once in 1.4 hours and the actual speed at the surface has to be approximately 7.9 or close to 8 kilometers per second anyway thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe consider supporting this channel patreon and share this video with someone who enjoys learning their video games i'll see you guys tomorrow come back tomorrow to learn something else space out and as always bye bye